Hey everybody, very excited to be bringing you this today. We just received our shiny new Nintendo Switch from the nice people at Nintendo and uh, we're gonna unbox it for you, show you what's inside. It's gonna be pretty cool. We got the console and two games. Uh, we got Breath of the Wild and 1-2 Switch, Zelda of course. Uh, first thing right off the bat, you notice the um, cartridges are quite small, but we'll open these in a second. The first thing that we noticed actually when we took it out, it's kind of small, it's not the biggest. Kind of like halfway, but nah, I wouldn't say halfway between a handheld console and a regular console, but smaller than your average console. Now let's take a look. How do we crack this sucker open? Nice thing about getting a console direct from the uh, the makers. There's no stickers. Nothing. Uh, keep, you don't have to slash it open with uh, scissors per se. All right. I don't know if we want to show everyone this, but uh, there it is in all its glory, or at least part of it. Now, you will, uh, I'll show you guys this in a second. There's one controller. Two. And the tablet itself. Now, just to give you a bit of dimension with that, that is a Samsung smartphone, a uh, S6 Edge, I think. Anyway, so you see it's kind of small. If you look at the pictures, it always looks pretty big. Uh, but that's about, the, the size on the box is pretty much exactly the size of the console itself. Actually, I'd swear they did it deliberately like that. Anyway, let's see what else is in the box. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this one piece of cardboard here. Okay, it's aside. Okay, now, We've got this little dealy bopper, meow. Um, I'm assuming this, it's, it looks like, a, it looks like a wrist strap. I'm assuming that's what that is. A very standard HDMI cable. And looks like the AC power supply. Okay, now we're getting to the meat here. This looks like the little dealy that we, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to get the real uh, terminology that Nintendo wants us to use, but this is what we hook these uh, side controllers up to if you want to just use it in front of your television. And uh, another little strap. I think these straps are for when, now that I think about it, what these are is you're going to attach them to these when you're, so you can attach them to your wrist while you're playing uh, a crazy game like 1-2 Switch, for example. Here we have more legalese. Uh, don't careful for seizures, that sort of thing. Uh, probably a lot of warnings about voiding your warranty too. You know how they go. And this, I'm assuming, is the cradle. Here, I'll put the box back down, and then I'll take everything out of the plastic. Here is our cradle. Now, okay, so it looks like it packages up quite nicely, and then you can fold this down to get to the HDMI, USB, and AC adapter stuff. So I think the idea is this sort of protects itself when you uh, throw it in your bag. But all in all, like all of this stuff is quite small. There's not a lot of stuff here. If you wanted to package this up, I know you could take the switch on the go, but it doesn't seem like there's a, a heck of a lot of baggage even if you wanted to bring the whole shooting match. Especially not compared to something like, I remember packing up my Xbox 360 when I was young and that thing was heavy. Okay. Now, of course, the pièce de résistance, the tablet itself. It's actually quite nice. I'm definitely gonna gummy this up with my hands in a matter of moments, but for now, it's a sharp looking thing, and it doesn't feel cheap. It's pretty heavy. It's got a nice weight to it, not super heavy. I mean, it feels like you're holding a tablet, right? Okay, so, a little cautionary tale from us here at Watch Mojo. We uh, just tried putting on one of these little wrist straps and we did not do it properly. And uh, it was a little bit difficult to take off once you did that. But anyway, it's actually quite intuitive. We're just dumb. Uh, basically, there's a minus sign and a plus sign and they're supposed to line up. And you can just, there you go, there you go. And there you have it. It's a nice little Joy-Con. So if the unthinkable happens and you accidentally try to launch it, it's not going anywhere. 
Anyone who had a Wii will remember this key wrist strap after a lot of people broke their flat screens. You know what I should try to do? I should try to put it in the cradle. There she goes. It's just a matter of taking it in and out. And there you have it. Just for fun, I'll show you what a cartridge looks like. I've got my fancy tool here. Such a minimalist box. Come take a look at how small this cartridge is. This is even smaller than your standard 3DS game or DS game. It's a little bit thinner, maybe a I'm not sure if it's a bit longer or around the same length. Now, here, I'll show you real quick. It says Game Kyadmia right here. And then it's a little springy rubber cover here. And like this. It goes in like that. And then to take it out, same deal. Pops out. Also, something I noticed while I was uh, playing around here. You've got a little stand here, so you can uh, prop it up, props itself up. Pretty friggin' cool, if you ask me. This is what you get in the box, ladies and gentlemen. Not counting the two games, of course. You've got your cradle, your controller for your Joy-Cons. You got the Switch console itself with the two Joy-Cons attached, two hand straps for the Joy-Cons, and your HDMI and your power supply. It's not a lot of stuff. I mean, if you wanted to take it on the go, like I mentioned earlier, it all would fit into a small backpack quite comfortably. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.